Hi, Chanel here from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this video tutorial we'll look at how a customer or you yourself can cancel a subscription payment. Perhaps you've signed up to a subscription online only to be disappointed and you've decided it's time to cut ties. Alternatively, you may be watching this tutorial in the hopes of understanding how your own customers can cancel their subscription payments. Whether you're a merchant or an everyday person attempting to cancel a PayPal subscription, You'll be able to do so after watching this tutorial. Prior to recording, I went ahead and signed up to a test subscription plan, which was going to charge me one cent for two days. In the back end of my PayPal account, this information is now recorded and another payment will be deducted tomorrow, unless of course I cancel this subscription prior. To be able to cancel a subscription that you've signed up to, you'll of course need your access to your PayPal account and you'll also need to know which subscription you wish to cancel if you have more than one. To speed things along, I've gone ahead and logged in to my PayPal account, so you'll need to now do that also. Once you're in your PayPal account, click on this little TOG button here. This TOG button will take you to the business information page. Make sure you just click on the financial information menu. So once you click on that financial information menu, you'll be on this page here that explains your banks and credit cards. So once you're on the banks, and cards page, I'll need you to get the scroll tool and I'll need you to scroll right to the bottom of that page. I've scrolled down to the automatic payments section. So you'll see the words automatic payments and you'll see a button called manage automatic payments. So you'll need to click on that manage automatic payments as this is where your subscription payments will be outlined. So I'll click on that manage automatic payments button and that'll take me to a new page that lists all of my subscriptions. So you can view all, you can see your active ones, suspended, completed, canceled, or pending cancellation. So we would like to see the active subscriptions because if it's active, that means that we can cancel it. So you can also see who the merchant is. You can see the description, the start, and when it expires. So as I mentioned at the start, this was just a two day subscription. So it was gonna end tomorrow anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and put an end to it now. So I can see the status is active. And if I click on this, I'll be able to cancel it. So I've clicked on that and it will show me a few more details and it'll also show me a cancel button. So clicking this cancel button, I'll then be asked to confirm the cancellation of this subscription. And by doing that, I will have canceled the subscription. So I'll click that cancel button now once you cancel this profile, you won't be able to reactivate it. Do you want to continue? So just make sure you note once you cancel the subscription, you can't just go ahead and say, I'd like to start the subscription again. You'd need to go back to the website you made the subscription on and then sign back up. Also, if you cancel a subscription, if you're part of a membership site, your access will be canceled as well after the period you've paid for. So say if I've already paid for this month, after the month's over, my subscription will be canceled to that site. So I won't be able to access any further information. So just make sure you understand that before you go ahead and click that yes button. So because this was just a test subscription, I'll go ahead now and I'll cancel this subscription. And this recurring payment plan has been canceled and cannot be reactivated. No more recurring payments will be made. So that's really nice to know that no more recurring payments will be made. And that makes sense as I've canceled the subscription, I do not need to pay any more. We've now successfully canceled a reoccurring subscription payment. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial on how to cancel a PayPal subscription payment. But if you wanna do one last check just to make sure that the subscription is canceled, click on the summary menu in your PayPal account and one of the latest recent activity lines should state reoccurring payment from whoever the payment was from is cancelled. So, and you'll see zero dollars, either USD or whatever currency you're using. So it means that that subscription has been cancelled and you didn't have to pay anything there. So that's the end of this tutorial. All the best in cancelling your reoccurring subscription payment.